All right. Well, that was an entertaining week. Taylor lost uh, the bet. Uh, yes. And finally paid up on the punishment. If you haven't seen mm. it, it's on YouTube and it's on Facebook. But Taylor ate a Carolina Reaper. And then w- yes. the best part about it, which <laughs> I think is the best idea I've ever had in the history of anyone ever having ideas, was you... I will say it was brilliant. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to give you that. Was you reading the, the Gettysburg Address right afterwards? Oh, man. So that was... I've never eaten anything like that. <laughs> so I really had no idea what to expect. I just knew to expect the worst. And then it was like even worse than that. Yeah. But I, I feel like if, if I had been allowed to eat ice cream or immediately start, you know, soothing my mouth that it might not have been so bad. Well, let's find out. Let's it do was, it right now. And not, and, and, and I don't even think it was the duration of time that I had to wait. It was all the talking. Oh, my gosh. Every word I spoke, I could feel the burn. It felt like someone was, like, scraping a razor over my tongue. I, it felt, I, when I did it, so... The reason why I added the uh, the Gettysburg Address to the stipulation is because I've eaten a Carolina Reaper before uh, a few years mm-hmm. ago, and it's so painful that I was like, I, I just need ice cream. Just give me ice cream right away. I'm not I'm not waiting around. And so yeah. I started eating ice cream right away, and it helped. And I was like, man, this oh, is yeah. not really entertaining to watch. It's, it's just kind of you eat it, you look hot, and then you just start eating ice cream. And so that's right. why I was like, well, we got to add in something to do. Because people, people had mentioned like, oh, eat it and then do a podcast. And I was like, oh, that's, that's never going to work because... I think I had said something like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad we didn't do that. Yeah. Be, well, because you would have just been miserable for 10 right. minutes and uh, then been grumpy for another hour <laughs> you know just, just irritated the rest of the time <laughs> yeah like i, I don't want to do this anymore and uh <laughs> but no yeah so i think live streaming it and doing the gettysburg address was the best way to go about it i i i agree um i will admit i've probably watched it like 10 times it is really funny to watch <laughs> now <clears throat> when you did it were you trying to be dramatic in your reading or was that just uh, there was a couple parts but for the most part, like, okay, so I'll, I'll try to describe it the best yeah. that I can. The I ate it, and initially it was hot, you know, like a hot pepper, mm-hmm. but then it transformed. And so the pain is not even like a heat pain if you eat something spicy. It's like an like a actual pain, Yeah. right? Like I said, it felt like someone was like scraping like a razor just over my tongue and over the back of my throat. Yeah, it felt it was to me pain. like lava was running down from the back exactly. of my tongue down my throat. And the, 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 the it was the breathing. Every breath I take is, is <laughs> Every like move you make. so, exactly. It was so painful not being able to do anything about it. And there's, if you, if you watch, you know, the, the first, right when I first start reading, there's like a few times where like I laugh, right? Because it's, I, I couldn't even get the words out and not even because it was so hot, but because it literally felt like it was like taking the, the breath out of my mouth and I'd go to say a word and it would just be nothing. <laughs> and like, I'm like, <laughs> like struggling to get the words going. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, I didn't, I was not expecting that. You know, I was expecting to just like read through it. I didn't want to speed through it. You know, I wanted to make sure it was, it was good. Yeah. But then I wasn't even able to talk. So then there was towards the end, I was like, I got to get through this because I'm going to die if I don't like go faster. Yeah. So, and then there's even a couple moments towards the end where I just like take a slow breath. I realized I got to take slow breaths and just like, Say it as unloud as possible. It's <laughs> monotone. Got to get the rest of this thing out. I, I couldn't. <laughs> quiet is, I, is, I guess, a, a word I guess you could use. No, it's unloud. You're but right. so I had the I had the Gettysburg Address pulled up on my computer, and it was broke out into three paragraphs. Right there's like the the intro, which was like a few lines. Uh-huh. Then there was the middle, which was like five lines. And then the last chunk was like 10 lines. Yeah. Looking at it on my computer, 
it doesn't look like that long. And I've read the Gettysburg Address. I think I had to I think I had to memorize it at one point in high school. So I'm thinking, okay, it's not that long. It's give me, you know, a good minute and I'll knock it out real quick. I start reading, I get through that first part, and I'm like, oh man, this is tougher. By the time I get through that second part and I realize I'm probably about halfway through, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so long. <laughs> this is the worst. Like, why did he have to talk for so long? <laughs> It's so short. And it's only like it is, but it two, felt three like the minutes. long. If I felt like I was reading a book, oh my, it was awful. <laughs> Yo, because you even so, said that halfway through, you're like, "Why is this so long?" <laughs> that's when it hit me. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I'm barely halfway, and that was when it was really like peak pain. I think. Yeah. Well, that was and my so hope. I got to the end. My hope yeah. was. Oh, gosh. I I tried to find something that was long enough to get you into it being miserable. So like at the worst point, you're right in the middle. So you have to struggle to finish and then finally get the, because if it would have been shorter, if it would have been half a short, you could have just powered through and gotten to the ice cream. But the the Gettysburg address was like the perfect length. Oh man, it was, it was awful. Like my eyes were watering so bad that I couldn't even like, See, I, was ha- I kept having to wipe my face, not because I wanted to wipe the tears, but because I couldn't even read the words anymore. Yeah. And uh, so here's so then the other issue, I I finished it and I dove into the ice cream. Right, it was like this little container, uh, and that's all the ice cream that we had. I got I I knocked out that ice cream like so fast. And I went into full panic mode. This is off the, you know, off the video. I know. I was, I was so upset that you turned it off so quick. You started it so fast and then you ended it so quick. I was like, ah, we need more of this. I just had, I I couldn't do it anymore. It was so painful. (laughs) So I got through that ice cream in like the first two minutes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to slow down because this is all that I have. I thought it would be enough. It was not enough. Um. (laughs) And then I ran out of the ice cream and I was still on fire. Like it was so bad. So I hate milk. I hate it. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? Maybe if I just put milk in my mouth, that'll help. No, that doesn't help at all. The only thing that eventually ended up helping was we had a bowl of ice in our freezer and I just tossed a handful of it in there and that seemed to to calm it down. It almost seemed like it might have done a little better than the ice cream. Mm. Um but so the the biggest issue with the ice cream is, so you got the burning on your whole tongue yeah. and then you have the burning going all the way down your throat, yeah. right? Well, the ice cream feels great on your tongue. As soon as you put it on there, it's like almost instant relief, yeah. but it doesn't help the back of your throat. So you're forced to swallow it, <laughs> yeah. but then you swallow it, but then your tongue is burning again. Yeah, I so would, you, you can't just sit with the ice cream in your mouth. You got to like be constantly eating it. I would take a bite and cause I only had um, like an ice cream. Uh, popsicle or a uh, mm-hmm. what do you call that? Why can't I think of the name? Like an ice cream, like ice cream sandwich. Yeah, but it was on a stick. What do you call that? It's not a popsicle. I like a like a fudge sickle, or a, I know what you're talking about an ice cream bar. Oh. There you go. <laughs> um, I had an ice cream bar, bar, and I think we had yogurt, and then someone else got more ice cream bars at one point. But I would t- take a little bite, and then I would sit with it as far back into my throat without gagging as mm-hmm. possible. And just yeah. like try to let it just like melt down my throat, but also like coat mm-hmm. everything. Oh, it's horrible, man. It's it, yeah. it's terrible. How long do you think you, you felt like you had to keep something constantly on it? About 10 minutes. Oh, man. I felt like mine was probably about 30 minutes really? before I could stop. Well, you also Cause... said you felt like the Gettysburg Address was an entire book. So that's, that's maybe, maybe your, your uh, perception of time might be a little off. Yeah, that could be. I just know it was awful. And then, so, of course, I was worried about part two, right? Having to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I, I didn't know what to expect. I was real nervous about it. And I had already done it late enough in the night where I knew it wasn't going to come till the morning. <laughs> uh-huh. But then I woke up at three o'clock, right, in the morning. And I didn't have to go to the bathroom, but I had this like severe, sharp pain in my stomach yeah. and this like pounding headache. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is because actually before I went to bed, I took like three shots of like Pepto-Bismol <laughs> just to help try to coat my stomach. 
So I'm laying in bed and I feel this like immense pain in my stomach that won't go away. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I I'm sure it's related, but like it does. It's it felt like my stomach was on fire from the inside. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I got to go downstairs and get some more Pepto. So I go downstairs, I chug a bit more Pepto, I take some medicine for my head, and I'm just laying there. Hold on one second. All right. It's a cliffhanger. I assume he dies. That's the only thing that makes sense. He's just laying there, and then he died. Okay. Where was I? I don't know. He said, and I was just laying there. Okay, yeah. So, so I come downstairs. I take some more Pepto. I take some medicine for my head because it was like a, a super headache. And I don't know if that's also related. I have to just imagine that it was. I don't know. So then I'm like, oh no, now I got to go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom. It wasn't bad. It, there was there was some spice, right? <laughs> uh, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. But as soon as I was done, the the pain got like worse. Like I couldn't even stand up. Yeah. Like I had to like lean over, you know, to lessen it a little bit. I'm like, oh my gosh! Like I thought I was dying. So I went, I went, and I laid down on the couch. I was like, I can't. I'm not even gonna make it back up the stairs because I couldn't even stand up. Like it was, like someone was ripping my stomach open with like fire hands. I don't <laughs> even know how to describe this pain. So I just fell back asleep on the couch. For a few hours. Um, and then I will say uh, things got a little heated in the bathroom. <laughs> but it wasn't any worse than like if I just eat spicy food. Yeah. Like if I eat too much spicy food, I know it's not going to be a good time. Uh-huh. And that's what it was. I didn't feel like it was – there was a discernible difference. I felt like maybe there's a point where it's just hot is hot and it ruins your day. Yeah. So – that part I was glad for that it wasn't worse than what I've experienced in the past. No. I'm a I'm a veteran now when it comes to it. So you're gonna do it again? Never again. Would you do it as a punishment Never. again? No. <laughs> I will do it for the only way I would ever do that again is like for money. That's that's it. Well, what, I, that's and, and that is strictly due to the stomach pain. Yeah. Because I literally thought I was I was like I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. I was like, this is, I don't know what is going on. I thought I was going to have to wake Crystal up. The, the, the burning in my mouth, I feel like I could, I can handle, you know, with the right ice and ice cream yeah. and everything. But that pain, there was, and there was like nothing I could do about it. Mm. I was just like laying there in agony. Well, one of the things that you forgot to bring up when you did it yes. is that I said I would do it if we can double up on our Patreon support. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so if we can hit $150 on Patreon, we're at $85 right now. At the time, we were at 75 If we can hit 80, uh, $150, I will eat it, I'll eat it and read the Gettysburg Address at the end of this month. I would enjoy that a lot. I might donate that money <laughs> just to see it because... It is unlike anything. <laughs> Having to read, uh, it's awful. <laughs> oh man! So yeah, that was uh, that was a Reaper adventure. I fear the Reaper. So this month, the actual punishment that we're doing is the the Harry Potter, um, Bert's bots, Bertie's bots, Bertie bots, bots beans, Bert's. the <laughs> the nasty yeah. jelly beans. Um, yeah. I figured either that or the bean boozled. It's kind of all the same stuff, I think, right? It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. Because I can definitely get, I can definitely get one of them. I don't remember which one I can get in town. Um, okay. And then you can get it off of Amazon yeah, that's or fine. whatever. Simple. Um, but currently we are tied thirty three thirty three on Patreon. Uh, yeah. And I have the disadvantage, which means unless people vote for me. I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay the punishment. Yeah. So now that you have, you've eaten a Carolina Reaper yep. and you remember what it was like, and then you've also had your legs waxed, mm-hmm. which one do you think was worse? Um, that's a good question. Keep in mind, you didn't have to read the Gettysburg address. 
That's true. Um, you should have to read it while getting the, your legs waxed. After eating the Carolina Reaper, just do all three. All all of them at once. Uh, I, I don't know. I think I think the Carolina Reaper is probably worse. Oh, you think so? I think I don't know because getting I, my legs waxed and it it hurt really really bad and it happened a lot of times. Right. But the Carolina Reaper, there was just no relief, right? So like, yeah, exactly. With the getting my legs waxed, it would hurt, but then it would be a minute until the next one, and then it would hurt, and then it'd be, you know what I mean? So like, but is it like a pain that comes and then fades, or is it like a lingering pain? No, it's, or is it like an instant pain that kind of goes? It's pretty much it pretty much goes away as soon as it's done. Right. Yeah, it doesn't really, it's not like a lingering pain at all. It just, it hurts and then it's fine. So I guess that would be the difference is a bunch of lingering or a bunch of short bursts of pain or one long fireball in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, now, like if, if the pain from getting your legs waxed was 10 minutes long and the same intensity. Yeah. I don't know which one would be worse. They, uh, I don't know. It's just now, so different. I, uh, it's it's hard to say. Yeah, I've I've never had my legs wax. Hopefully, I never do. But as of now, I I kind of still think that I'm I'm glad I didn't lose that one. Now I could one day get my legs waxed. And be like, oh wow, that was way easier. But <laughs> as of now, I feel like. I, I still lucked out with the Carolina Reaper. Yeah, well, you could have lost last month and this month. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I, I am glad that we both got one in the books. Yeah. You know, and it's not one person constantly having to do it. Yeah, for, um, hopefully from now on, it'll just always be you. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> I'm. That was my first and last punishment. You're never getting another punishment or you're never doing it again? Because that was my fear, is that... You were gonna eat the Carolina Reaper and just be like, "Nah, I'm I'm not reading the Gettysburg Address <laughs> and just quit it." No, I was I was committed to doing the to the whole thing. Yeah, it it might have bearing on what I agree upon in future punishments. So. <laughs> I'm to take my well being into account. No, nope, they're just getting bigger and better. Yeah, well, that's what I was telling Crystal. I said eventually, what it's gonna come down to is. The winner has to murder the loser. I hope and so. That's just it. it. Do you think if it's a, uh, it's like a uh, an agreed upon thing, and it's like voted on on Patreon, are we liable? Do we w- will we go to prison for killing each other at that point? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, it should be fine, right? This and then they could turn it into some sort of uh, Black Mirror episode. There you go. I think they already have. Oh, have they? The uh, hated in the two nation. Two guys who do a podcast. Oh yeah, well, oh, not yeah. exactly that, but people voting on who should die. And uh, the last thing about this month's punishment for January about the jelly beans is we're going to live stream it, and so we yes. we will pick one, and then whoever is on the stream is able to ask a, a question, a trivia question, whatever. You know, if you want to ask what's my favorite color, like as in the audience member. There's like things. Oh, just like things. We're having the audience ask the question. Yeah, yeah. Anyone, anyone on the stream oh. is allowed to ask a question. And jeez, oh, uh, I thought we were asking each other the questions. Well, we will. We'll do that too. We'll be on there. Okay. But, uh, I got you. Anyone else on, on there is welcome to ask questions. And uh, so you'll you'll pick a jelly bean, and you have a fifty fifty shot of being good or really bad. You get the answer right. right. You can throw that jelly bean away. You get the answer wrong. You have to eat it. And uh, we'll just keep going until it gets boring, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to. Well, I don't. Well, we'll go until they're gone. Either they're eaten or they're discarded. Well, the 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 bean boozled thing I have here is like a thousand. Nope, nope, no, no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll figure out a number, what a reasonable well, yeah, number we'll of something. trivia, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun. But you can help decide who has to do that by going over to Patreon. Uh, dot com slash I seen that. Please. You vote please for Taylor. Alan. Alan will have to do it. You vote for Alan. Taylor will have to do it. Oh, one last thing uh, before 
we wrap this up. I have one more bone to pick with you about your Carolina oh Reaper. Uh, Here we go. It, it's never enough. It always upsets me every time I hear your wife call you Joe. It's very jarring. and it It's quite jarring. She refuses to call me by my name. That is all she calls me. And it's gotten so bad that her parents will call me that now. Yeah. And some of her friends as well. <laughs> is it just to annoy you or is it just because that's your actual no, name? No, that's just what they call me now. You know what's weird is your sister will call people her cousins or her sisters and they're not related at all. So for her to t- stand on a principle <laughs> of your, you being called Taylor because that's your middle name and what you've always gone by and yet introducing people as her sister and then making fun of me because I believe that doesn't really seem fair. <laughs> this is true but uh it's it's a wacky situation <laughs> uh but yeah so follow us on twitter like us on facebook and we will be back in a couple of days yeah